Do you ever wonder how satellite weather information gets to your plane? Or just how up to the minute that information is? Sirius XM Aviation delivers weather information to your cockpit so you can have confidence in knowing what's up ahead to make the best possible in-flight decisions. Weather information travels to your aircraft via Datalink satellite transmission. Weather products include a list of weather features that notifies you of the age of the weather data, shown in minutes. So that brings up the question, how often is the Sirius XM Aviation weather data updated? The multiple SXM Aviation data service elements are updated at different rates. Dynamic elements like radar and lightning are updated every two and a half minutes, which is twice as often as FISB weather updates. While other, more stable weather data is updated every 60 minutes or more. It's important to note that there are two variables at work with broadcasting weather service. Data update rates and transmit intervals. While a product source may be updated every 30 minutes, the same data may be transmitted every 5 minutes to ensure your display is up to date. SXM works with its aviation partners to arrive at an optimal cadence of updated data and transmit intervals to ensure critical information is passed in the timeliest manner. Due to the time it takes to collect, process, and distribute weather information, the data you are viewing is not to be considered real time. The time indication provided by SXM is an indication of when the weather picture was received by your avionics. But the weather could have moved since the data was transmitted. Always be conservative when interpreting the weather picture, knowing that the data you see may not depict current conditions. A great practice is to make the timestamp a part of your in-flight scan. Let's look at an example. Let's say we're going on a cross country and we're approaching our destination airport. We want to pull up local weather conditions, so we pull up the Nexrad, METARS, and cloud tops. Each data link weather product has an expiration time. The weather product age is shown in green or white, depending on the system, if it's less than half of this expiration time. Otherwise, it's shown in amber until reaching its expiration time. When it's amber, the information should be used with caution. After a weather product has expired, the system removes the expired weather product from the displays and shows white dashes instead of the age. If the data link receiver has not yet received a weather product, NA appears instead of the age to show the product is currently not available for display. For example, this may occur after powering on a system but before the data link receiver has received a complete weather data transmission. Or it could indicate an outage of weather products. Today's modern pilots have great weather tool options, but as pilot in command, you still have the responsibility in understanding how to read and interpret any weather product, as well as knowing its limitations. Remember, these tools are strategic, providing for advanced decision making and are not to be considered as tactical navigation tools. If you see a cell in the way of your flight route, it's recommended that you change your route to avoid hazardous weather conditions. Also remember, you can use a combination of weather services and products to get the most comprehensive weather picture. And never forget the power of what your eyeballs see outside the windshield.